Welcome to The Music Reel. I'm your host, Nicola Burton. I'm very happy to be speaking to Maria Amato today. And she is the CEO for AIR, which is the Australian Record Labels Asso- it's, uh, Australian Independent Record Labels Association. Wanted to correct that. Maria, thank you so much for joining me today. How are you going? Good, thank you. Thanks for having me, Nikki. Well, I'm very curious to talk to you because so many of our artists don't really understand, I guess, the mechanism of the industry per se. So could you perhaps give us a little intro into what AIR actually is, how it came about, why it's so important, and I guess what the difference is between AIR and ARIA? Okay. Uh, AIR was set up 23 years ago by a bunch of uh, independent label owners and practitioners who thought that there needed to be a body that represented the interests of independent artists and labels that operated in the Australian recorded music sector. Um, Over the years, AIR has lobbied government for the protection of copyright and the interests of artists and labels. Uh, For the last 14 years, we've had an annual awards event to celebrate the success of the independent sector. We've also held workshops over the years and in particular in the last four years we've been running a two-day music industry conference called IndieCon that's focused on the independent sector. We try and cater, you know, we don't want to do the rifle approach but we want to make uh, it accessible to anyone really so our members get free access and whether you're an artist, a label or distributor, there's something there for you. And we've just wrapped our 2020 Air Awards and IndieCon virtually and online for the first time. And uh, we've had some amazing feedback and, um, you know, it was a bit uh, scary going there, but we did it. We made sure that all our speakers were paid, which is something I'm proud of because COVID has perhaps opened up the possibility of exploitation where people are being asked to donate their time free of charge. There's no contracts to say that we're going to use this content in this territory for this term on this platform, et cetera, et cetera. So whilst we're all about our artists being protected too, we want our professional uh, label representatives to also be protected and be given the same respect. So unless you're a sponsor of AIR or a board member, they're, they're, we've been able to offer a nominal fee, not a lot, but if you can't scrape a couple of hundred dollars together, then don't have a conference, you know, in my opinion. Um, so we're proud of that. We've also lobbied people like MTV and Foxtel when it was operating to pay for content that it was broadcasting because it wasn't and it wasn't being fed through to PPCA, et cetera. So over the last, I don't know, 10 years nearly, we've probably paid out close to $2 million to our members as a result of those negotiations. So that's huge. Uh, We promote uh, new independent music every week through social media and our newsletter, which anyone can subscribe to. You don't have to be an AIR member. Our website is air.org.au and anyone can go on and subscribe to our newsletter and find out a bit more about what we do. Um, We also produce the charts. We get info from um, ARIA charts and we publish the independent charts. And, you know, we really, uh, yes, it is, times are tough, but we really need to celebrate success, recognise success and, you know, broadcast it as far and as wide as we can. Um, We've also lobbied to, we've never had research until, for the independent sector, until about four years ago when we were able to secure some funding to get Deloitte to produce a report. The first report measured the measured the 2014-15 financial year and this year we've been able to publish a second report that um, looked at the 2019 financial year, which showed significant growth in the independent sector too. And the word independent is probably what is independent. Okay, so to be independent, you need to own at least 50% of your master, who you distribute it with, who helps you market it, doesn't matter. The important thing is you have control of your master, that you're an Australian artist, you're an Australian business if you want to be a label, Um, and that's as simple as we like to keep it because you're not wholly owned by one of the three majors and you are in control. And there are no barriers to entry in the independent sector. Anyone can self-release, start their own label, and um, do it on their own terms. And that's, you know, something to really celebrate because it's courageous. You're fully invested in yourself. You have total control. You wear all the risk. 
but you, you know, deserve all the applause. And I actually, I love that because so many people during this lockdown have been writing and recording. They've been prolific in the content that they've actually been creating. It's been this opportunity that we've, we've not, we've never had this. So to be at home for six to seven months and have that time has been fantastic. And so many artists that I've spoken to are just so optimistic about, well, now I've got all this, this material, now I've got all this content, now I'm about to release it. And I, I just love um, the fact that we're what, we're, we, are, we constitute a third of the, the um, I guess, the share of recorded content now, which is so promising for the independence. So I wanted to talk to you about... Um, the Outstanding Achievement Award at this year's Air Awards that you had on the 1st of October, that was for Emily Ullman and she did the Isolate Festival, which how brilliant was that? How many amazing people have you seen step up in the last seven months and just gone, well, this has happened, I'm going to pivot, pivot and I'm going to do this. Can you talk a little bit about, um, you know, you sort of briefly talked about it, but what it was like to have this hybrid virtual event that you guys had in Adelaide recently? Well, it was a lot of, well, when we were planning it initially at the beginning of the year, we didn't think that there'd be a lockdown or that we'd have COVID. So that took another reiteration. We also had to renegotiate our deal with the South Australian government, so that was another thing. Then we thought we'd be filming part in Melbourne, part in Adelaide, but then we're in stage four lockdown here in Melbourne, so none of that could happen either. So it happened from um, Adelaide as a live event and also uh, zooming into myself and Dylan from home. Um, can't, you know, applaud or thank the uh, Novatech and Campfire and all the, you know, the Adelaide people that manage the event um, there and Jessica Braithwaite and Dylan Lewis. Um, I wanted it to be a short, sharp one hour event because we're, we're all oversaturated with what's happening online these days. So um, maybe it was a bit short for other, some, maybe it was just perfect for others, but um, it felt right and it was short, sharp and to the point. But the, the point being celebrating the success of the independent sector, encouraging them, applauding them, giving them hope that they give us all the time. Whenever we're in crisis, we always look to the arts to help lift us. And um, Emily's nomination was made by Air members and it was voted on by the Air Board and couldn't have gone to a more deserving person, although all the other nominees also. There's lots of people that try to lift other people with them, uh, moving forward into a new risky and uncertain world that we're living in, and, but they're coming from a good place, you know, and I couldn't be happier for Emily. Uh, it, it's, it's so good to see. And, and like you said, so many people are doing these incredible things, which leads me to in August, you announced your Women in Music mentor program. Now, I'd love to hear about this. So I just want to talk a, bit, a little bit about our agency we've been running for 30 years. And 5% of our artists are women. And I've been really concerned about this for a while. And we've been canvassing and survey, surveying. And there's a lot of challenges that hit women in this industry. So I'd love to hear from you how this program came about and I guess what you were looking to achieve. It's a four-year program, isn't it? Four years? Yes. Yep. I'm so excited to hear about this because we as women need to have a little bit more visual um, in, in our industry on stage and off. So perhaps tell us a little bit about this program. Well, it's funded by the federal government. So kudos to them for thinking, rec hearing us that the industry needed some help. Um, and uh, initially we were, when we opened it, we actually opened it earlier on. We had applications open um, we announced it in June, applications are open in July for the first round. Uh, we were going to put through 40 people, but we had 342 applications, so I increased it to 100, which, you know, is we're working through right now, matching them all with their mentors. We're beginning induction this week. We're going to start some professional development and couldn't be more excited about it. It's And we're opening up the next round um, in March because we want to put as many people through as possible. We've had applicants from all around Australia, from different um, senior level, junior level, uh, people from sound uh, mixing and engineering to artists and uh, people working in admin and in management. So from a broad cross section and I think just making people aware that it exists and that the second round is coming is a good thing. And, you know, if we can empower people to feel confident enough to at least 
visualize what it is that they want to achieve and get help with mentoring to help them to coach them into understanding what they need to do, what they can try, because the work all needs to be done by the mentee. Uh, There's no magic wand. It's what you put in, you get out, but helping you with clarity of your vision and what steps you might want to employ to get there is really good. It's all We all need a coach to help us along. And whilst the independent sector may not have any barriers to entry and anyone can do it, maybe we wanted to explore is it because of lack of um, networks, knowledge or belief or interest, you know, all, all of the above perhaps, but if this can help in some way, then that's a good thing. And I know that there's lots of other uh, industry bodies that are doing it and I think that's fantastic. There cannot be in too many people in the industry offering mentoring services. You're right when you say it's all about lifting each other up and a program like this is really going to help. You know, we, we hold up half the sky, right, but we don't hold up half the industry yet. So it's really great that everyone's working together to lift each other up. And I think that's the wonderful thing about AIR, the independent energy of it gives us this great blueprint for recovery, I think, because it's all about encouraging. You guys can do it. You're not restrained by, you know, the major labels. So um, it was great to talk to you today, Maria. You've really given us this great spirit of independence, which that's what Australia is all about. And our industry is actually, we are poised to actually make, I think, we're going to take a big leap. This challenge has shown us what we're made of, don't you think? Yes. And look, it is, it is difficult and the hardest thing is channeling your energies and your thoughts because you can easily go, oh, my God, this is so hard and be overwhelmed by it. And it's really hard actually to start imagining something when you can't see it possibly coming, you know, into reality. But I think Susan Hayward once said, life is like a wild tiger. You can either lay down and let it lay its paw on your head or you can get on its back and ride it. And I love that. <laughs> What a great way to end this interview. Love it. Thank you so much. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to print that out and put that above my computer, I reckon. That is the quote for 2020. Maria, thank you so much. I've loved talking to you and hearing about the incredible work you guys do. Our industry really is so grateful for you. Thank you so much. Thank you.